Hello friends, this video on relations and functions part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exams. Before watching this video, please watch relations and functions part 1. Let me now introduce to a new term called Cartesian product of sets. So what is Cartesian product? Before going to the definition, let us understand the concept. Let us assume there is a man, there is a set of man, Ram and Shyam. And these two guys want to marry women and they have three choices: Sita, Gita and Rita. Now in how many ways this guy can marry? If you see Ram can marry Sita, Ram can also marry Gita, similarly Ram can marry Rita. In case of Shyam, Shyam can marry Sita, Shyam can also marry Gita and Shyam can also marry Rita. So hi, how I got this? First I took Ram and then for Ram three possible combination Ram Sita, then Ram Gita and then Ram Rita. Then second I took Shyam and then for Shyam, Shyam Sita, Shyam Gita and Shyam Rita. So there are six possible ways where men can marry women in this case. When there are two men Ram and Shyam and they want to marry three women Sita, Gita and Rita, there are six possible ways. In Cartesian product also we do something like this only. When we have two sets, for example set of man and set of women, when you do a Cartesian product of this, what you get is something like this. We'll discuss this. Now, the definition of Cartesian product. Cartesian product set is the product of two sets. As the name says it, Cartesian product, it is nothing but product of two sets. In terms of sets, the Cartesian product P, comma, P into Q, this is how we we'll say P into C is set of all ordered pairs whose first component is member of P and second component is member of Q. So it will be something called P by Q form. The first is from P and second is from Q. So if you see this, when you write this in the set builder form, you say P into Q is equal to PQ, P comma Q, where P is member of capital P and small Q is member of capital Q. From the early example, we see when man is one set, women is another set. When I say man into women, we got this as the output. We have seen this. Now let's note some point for Cartesian product. Two ordered pairs are equal if and only if the corresponding first elements and the second elements are equal. For example, when we say there is a set 2, 3, 2, 4, this is one set. And the next set is 3, 2, 3, 4. This is another set. So both these sets are not equal because elements are same. But the first element should match to the first element and second element should match to the second element. That's how we compare when we are comparing the product. Remember when we are comparing the normal product in that normal set, in that case the order doesn't matter. But in case of ordered Cartesian product, the order does matter. The first element should match to the first element and the second element should match to the second element. When we say A cross A cross A, this is nothing but ABC where all ABC are part of A and this is called ordered triplet. When we say A into finite, in A into infinite, it gives an infinite set. It makes sense when you are saying a into infinite, a into this is infinite. Because in math also when you say 1 into infinite, it is infinite. Similarly in sets also when you say a into infinite set, it is infinite. Because you will be creating infinite number of sets, product sets. Also number of a cross b, number of elements in a cross b is equal to number of elements in a into number of elements in b. For example, we have seen in men case Shyam and 
Ram was there, I think. Two element. In one is Sita Gita and Rita three. So number of element in M cross W is six actually, which you can see here is two into three. Also in the last example we see we saw there were three sets A B C. Each were having two elements each, and the final product we got was having eight element. So eight is equal to a two into two into u. So that means number of element in a cross b is equal to number of element in a into number of element in b. Similarly, so for three items, it is number of element in a cross b cross c is equal to number of elements in a into number of elements in b into number of elements in c. In the last example we have seen that this guy was having two element, this guy had two element, C had two element. The total output we got was having eight elements. So this proves that both are true. Let me read. Let me iterate. In ordered pair, they are equal only if first element is equal to the first element of the second set, and second element is equal to the second element of the second set. Also, last point to note: A cross B is not equal to B cross A. We can prove this. For example, set A has one, two, and set B has three. So when you this is A and this is B. When you say A cross B, this is nothing but one, three, and two, three. When you say B cross A, this is equal to three, one, and three, two. So as we have told that. Only the element doesn't matter. The order also matters. So in this case, one and three is not equal, and three is one is not equal. So a cross b is not equal to b cross a. Let's solve one problem. It says x plus one comma y minus one. This set is equal to three comma one. We have to find the value of x and y. So as we have seen, the two sets are equal if first element is equal to first element of this. First element of second element of this set is equal to second element of this. That's why we can say x plus one is equal to three, and y minus two is equal to one. You solve this, you get x is equal to two, y is equal to three, and this is the answer. Very simple question. Just you have to know that first element of set A is equal to first element of set B. First element, second element of set A is equal to second element of set B. Let's take one more problem. Where we have x and x set x has three elements x y z and set p has only one element p. Now we are asked to form x cross p and p cross x. So let's form x cross p first. So to make to create x cross p, first let's take x. First element of x so that is x. So it is x and first element of p. There is only one element of p, so we will take p. X comma p is one. Then we'll take second element of x, y comma p, and then we'll take third element of x, that is z comma p. So x cross p is nothing but x comma p, y comma p, and z comma p. There are three elements. There are three different sets. Now when we say p cross x, what we do first, we take p first. So p. And then we say first element of x, p comma x. Then we'll take p second element of x, that is p comma y. Then we'll take p and third element of z, that is p comma z. So these are the values of p comma x. And we could clearly see that x comma p is not equal to p cross x. Let's take one more example. We have set a is equal to one to three, three elements. In set B, we have two elements, three, four, and set C, we have three elements, four, five, six. Now we are supposed to find A cross B intersections. To do this, first let me find B intersection C. What are the common elements between B and C? Four, four. Four is the common element between B and C. So when I say B intersection C, I mean set with one element that is four. And now in set A we have one, two, three. So when I say A cross B intersection C, I mean to say I'll say first element of A that is one, comma first element of B intersection C that is four. Now this first element of second element of A that is two, 
comma 4 now third element of a that is 3 comma 4 so this is my answer for a cross b intersection c now let me take one more example wherein we are saying a cross b intersection a cross c so for that first we have to find a cross b a cross c and then we have to do intersection on that so let's find a cross b let me do here a cross b will say first element of a 1 first element of b 3 correct and then we'll say first element of 1 a and second element of b 4 first element is over now for a now we'll take second element 2 comma 3 second element of b similarly 2 comma second element of b 4 now this is over so we'll take third element of a that is 3 comma first element of b 3 and then third element of a comma second element of b so this is a cross b similarly let me find a cross c a cross c is first element of a 1 comma first element of c 4 then again we'll keep taking the first element of a until unless all the elements of c are not consumed so 1 comma 5 second element of c and 1 comma 6 third element of c now let me take second element of a so i'll say 2 and first element of c 4 2 second element of c 2 second element of third element of c similarly this is complete so we'll take third element of a so it will be 3 comma 4 because a into c third element of this and first element of c 3 comma 5 and 3 comma 6 so this completes the whole set of a cross c now we have to find the intersection of this that is the common element 1 comma 3 is it there in this set it is not there so we'll cut this 1 comma 4 is it there yes it is there this is the 1 comma 4 2 comma 3 is there it is not there sorry it is 2 comma 4 2 comma 5 2 comma 3 is not there so we'll cut this 2 comma 4 is there it is here 3 comma 3 is there in set a cross c it is not there we will cut this 3 comma 4 is it there in a cross c yes it is there so the common element is 1 4 2 4 and 3 4 that means we can say a cross b intersection of a cross c is equal to 1 comma 4 2 comma 4 and 3 comma 4 this is the answer i hope you got the logic what we have done we have first found a cross b and then we have found a cross c and then we did the intersection that is we found the common element between these two sets and the common element was thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online test get the best quality study material study from the best tutor and mentors and much more thanks once again